Let's get right to it. The top tier data roles in information technology are the DBA, the data engineer, and the machine learning engineer. If you're new to the space, especially if you're new to the AI space, it's important that you understand most of the work of a machine learning engineer or a faker scientist is data sourcing and cleansing. It's not modeling. Therefore, I've included the machine learning engineer as a data role. Now, if you don't understand that, I'll put a link below this video that discusses data centrism in real world AI. If you're thinking, what about the data analyst? The data analyst is not considered a top tier role at any company I've ever worked at. It's an entry level role. In the video, I'm going to tell you why I prefer the data engineering role over the machine learning engineering role. Now, if you're thinking, why did you leave out the DBA role? Simple. Data engineers and machine learning engineers are making 50 to 100K more. DBAs right now are underpaid, so I'd steer clear of that role. Both the data engineer and the machine learning engineer are great careers. You can't go wrong with either role. Again, I'm not trying to dissuade you from becoming a machine learning engineer. I simply want you to know what the real world looks like. Okay, let's get into it. Why do I prefer the data engineering role? Number one, less meetings. I hate meetings. Most are an abysmal waste of time. The number of meetings you'll need to attend as a machine learning engineer is far greater than that of a data engineer. Why are there so many meetings? I'm guessing because the role is so new and the business types want to know exactly what they're getting from you. The why at this point is really irrelevant. As a machine learning engineer, you're going to need to prepare yourself for a ton of meetings. Number two, the spotlight. As a machine learning engineer, you're constantly on stage, and that means your progress is constantly being monitored by the C-level execs and others in the company that really don't understand why you're being paid large coin. If you're new to information technology, it's important you understand that executives at most companies don't view you in high regard. They think that you're overpaid and they're often jealous of your success. This also means your mistakes are amplified and your success is muted. As a data engineer, you're behind the scenes. The business types understand the importance of data. You aren't viewed as a rock star. For example, how many of you knew before watching my videos that the top role on earth for the last five to 10 years was the data engineer and not the machine learning engineer or the faker scientist? Why? Because we've over glamorized the machine learning engineer and the faker scientist roles. Number three, technical clarity. All of the data engineers I've worked with are highly technical. I haven't met one yet that wasn't. I worked on a contract recently as a data engineer, and the role was clearly defined. They needed me to create data pipelines from their relational data stores and move that data into a data warehouse called Snowflake. It was black and white. The technical aptitude of most machine learning engineers is very low right now, and many of the jobs aren't clearly defined. This is mostly the result of improper hiring practices. Many companies were misled by the faker scientists fad into believing academics could step into these roles and work through the machine learning process. Unfortunately, it's not what happened. The result of hiring technically incompetent academics means that technical types end up doing most of the real world work. For example, I was working at a medium sized company and I was told I needed to source and clean the data for the rest of my team. I laughed out loud and said, no thanks. I let them know that the machine learning process or the machine learning pipeline included sourcing and cleansing their own data. Now, I knew this was coming because several people from academia were hired and they had no real data skills. The team lead mistakenly thought I was gonna do all the data cleansing while the others did the modeling, which is often considered the fun part. Needless to say, I left that company shortly afterwards. Lack of technical acumen by faker scientist types means those skilled with SQL and other data skills are gonna be doing most of the work. If you're being hired for a machine learning engineering role, Make sure the team you're being hired onto has a lot of technical acumen in this space. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. See you soon.